Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. One of the most commonly asked questions on the YouTube channel is what theme do I use in my videos? And what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to download and install the theme that I use, which is Default Kamala. I'm also going to show you the way that I typically set my projects up using this theme. It's got some great features and great ways of laying things out to make your entire process just that little bit more visual and easy to see what you're doing. So let's take a look at how we can do that now. So at the moment, I've got the typical standard theme that ships with Reaper 5, which is a great looking theme in itself, but I tend to find that I just prefer a darker look. So let's take a look at how we can download Default Kamala, where we can find it, how we can actually install that in Reaper, and then we'll take a look at how we can configure and lay it out to the way that I generally tend to work. So I'm on the Reaper stash at the moment, and what I'll do is I'll put the links to these particular downloads in the description below, so check those out for direct links. But there are currently two versions of default Kamala 5. There's the light version and the dark version, and the only real difference is the background of the actual media area and some of the, the sliders and things are slightly lighter. The rest of the actual overall layout is still fairly dark, so you, know, you can kind of take the choice of which you think suits your particular work, uh, workload the best. For me, I prefer the dark version of it. So all I need to do is come down to where it says download default Kamala 5. That will come through. It'll download that to my system. In this case, it'll go to the desktop on my computer. Once that's done, let me just minimize these a second. Once that's done, we'll end up with an icon like this. As you can see, it's default Kamala 5 Reaper theme zip. So all I need to do is double click that and that will open that up, ask me to install it, just confirm what it says on there. Once you've done that, that will automatically launch Reaper if it isn't already open and your new theme is ready and already loaded in for you. So I'm not going to worry too much with that. I've already got it installed. So if I didn't have this theme already set up, then what I can do is I can switch over to it by simply going to the options option, <laughs> options option, come down to themes. And you can see I've got quite a few different versions of default Kamala as well as some other themes that I've tested out. Now, if you want full color of each individual track in your mixer and on the actual track control panel, then you're better off working with default Kamala 4 because default Kamala 5 has kind of changed some of these features. You can no longer tint the actual tracks themselves. So if you kind of want that, like in a lot of my videos, I'd recommend checking out default Kamala 4. But default Kamala 5 has actually got quite a few nice additions and little sort of subtle tweaks to it that now I'm getting used to using it actually work out quite well but you know check out the other versions just to see if they, they sort of work a little bit better for you or if you're looking specifically to to set yours up like my uh, most of my videos so like I say I'll just set default Kamala 5 that'll switch us over to that theme so you can see everything is now set up I've got no tracks available to me at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load a project in that's got some, some tracks in there. And then I'm going to show you how I typically lay things out. And we can see what this actually looks like with a load of media. You know, it's a typical project you're kind of going to be working on. So I've got a project I'm working on in front of me at the moment. And as we can see, if we take a look at the track control panel, I've got lots of things like parent set up with child tracks. So what I tend to do, and I've got a video on how you do this if you're not familiar with it, is I'll always set up a master or parent track for my guitars, for my bass, for my vocals, for my drums, and then all of my other subtracks will actually be linked underneath that so you can see that they're indented. Now, one of the things that you used to get on the other versions of Default Kamala is that it would lay things out slightly differently. But what I tend to find works better for me these days is each one of these parent tracks I actually want to set something up within the actual mixer control panel at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the actual master track and I'm going to promote that into a different layout. So you can see at the moment, everything is kind of laid out exactly the same. So everything kind of just melds into each other. But what we can do is we can right click on in these tracks and we can come up and we say set track layout and we've got mixer panel and track panel below that. And as you can see, there are literally tons and tons of options for how we can lay things out. So we can go through and we can take a look at all the different options. And I'd recommend trying some of these just to see what they look like, because you may find certain layouts work great for the way that you like to work visually and, you know, the way that the options are set out on there. So you can see we've got tons and tons of options available to us. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and I'm going to say that I want these to be set to large. Now you can do pan at the bottom or you can just leave large and pan at the top. It's entirely up to you. But I'm working with my guitar tracks, which are blue. So I'm going to set a blue fader on this so I can visually see that this is a guitar based track. And I can also see that it's a master track. So let me just put these back. I don't like multiple layouts. So you can see now that this master or parent track is set to look different to the actual other tracks. It's color coded via the actual slider. And I'm going to do the same now for bass. So just right click, come onto that, set track layout, mix the track panel, and I'm going to come down and that's green. So we're going to use large green fader. So you can see now I've got that set up. So I know that that is now a parent. I can do the same for vocals. So it's just set track layout, mix a panel, large yellow. We'll go for gold and we'll go yellow on here. And we'll do the same finally for drums. Rose, red, it'll do. So you can see now that I can quickly and easily identify which of these tracks are parent tracks. I can see which ones I can apply effects to if I want to. I can see it color coded. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the remainder of, in this example, my drum tracks. So I'm just holding the control and shift key or the command and shift key down. So that selects all those tracks. I can right click, set track layout, mix a track panel. And these are all the narrow options. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to say, narrow red fader. So now I can see these are all red faders. I'll just quickly change this to a red fader because that's going to bug me out my OCD. So I mix a panel and uh, we want large red. So I can now immediately see that these are drum based tracks. I can see this is the parent. I can see this is the child tracks. And this is just works really, really well for me. You can do the same kind of thing if you want to up on any of the actual tracks in the track control panel. You can right click, you can come down, you can set your track layout. So you can set your track panel and you can see you've got a whole host of different options available to you there. So you can set these up exactly as you'd like as well. So you may say, well, this is the drums master. So I want to have a big meter and I want a red fader on there. Well, there you go. We've now got a big meter and a red fader. So we can expand that out and drop that down if you want to. You know, you can kind of get really creative with the way that you want to lay these out. And, you know, it doesn't take too long to do it. You can color code the sliders. You can color code and change the layout for the master and the parent. I'll say that the parent. So you can lay these out in multiple different ways. Now, I would recommend if you like this theme, download it, install it, try Kamala 4 as well. Take a look at these different layout options that I've just shown you. Just right click and you can set track layout. You can also go up to the options and you can choose layouts. And you can see you've got more options available to you again there. So you can control the way the transport shows, the master mixer panel, the mixer panel that we've taken a look at, the master track panel, and finally the track panel, which we just looked at. So you can see this is a great looking theme. It has a ton of options and layouts that you should be able to find something that fits exactly the way you want it if you like this theme. So download it, install it, test it out, see what you think of it. If you think it's good, leave a comment in the, in the comment section below. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's answered some of your questions on what theme I use and how I configure things. If you have found it useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this video or any of the other videos on the channel, pop those in the comment section below. If you want exclusive content that's not available on the YouTube channel, don't forget to pop over to www.reapertv.co.uk where you can access that information. And finally, remember we release new video tutorials every single Friday. So until next time, happy mixing.